So today, I decided to try to PR my long run. So the first half of the run, I'm feeling great. My mind is clear, nothing going on. Think about nothing but my, just my running pace, what I'm doing, my breathing, everything like that. Get to mile 15, I turn around, and the demons start to creep in. That inevitable wall is creeping up on me. When you push so hard, something's about to give. And I start to give. My mind started to break down. I started to feel my legs starting to hurt. I started feeling dehydrated. I started feeling sorry for myself. I started looking around. No one knows I'm fucking out here running. Why don't you go ahead and just stop? Call your girl, have her pick you up. And that's when I felt like a little bitch. And this is when your mind has to fucking change. You gotta start thinking I'm the greediest motherfucker in the world. Your dehydration? Fuck it. Lick your motherfucking lips. Your fucking legs are all sore. You feel like you got shin splits and stress fractures? No, you don't. You got sore fucking legs. Get out of your head and stay hard. Three forty-five a.m. Uh, I was gonna get some breakfast in me, some coffee. Head on out for my forty-four mile day. Hopefully, I don't go f too far into the night later. About to hike at least a couple hours right now in the dark. Here I am starting a 40 plus mile day. Sounds like a good idea now. We'll see how I feel when I'm 30 miles in and still have 15 miles to go. Got about a couple mile at least walk back to the trail. Yeah, as you can see, headed into the dark. Let's go. Yo, made it to the Mason Dixon line. Official mark of the north and the south. Headed into the dirty south. Still out here in the dark. I just made it to the Mason Dixon line. It's pretty dope. It's kind of like I've already made it to the halfway point, but that's that's kind of like the symbolic halfway point. About two and a half miles into a 40 plus mile day. No trespassing after dark. All right, I guess it's early enough in the morning. It's not really nighttime, so. so uh, sun's coming up. I'm having a little sunrise right here. Having a little second breakfast. Feeling pretty tired already. <laughs> pretty sure I saw two like bobcats or some shit this morning but this look like cats they're all just like kind of checking me out it's kind of freaky heard one really big thump pretty sure it was like a big bear thump so night hiking always good to survive it you know a long day ahead of me The rocks have not stopped. A big ass snake right here. Yeah, just checking in. Made it to this really nice spring here. Really grateful, pretty thirsty. It's about noon, a little afternoon, 16, 17 miles into today. So not too bad. I was really hoping to have 20 by noon, but um, it's pretty good. I had 12 miles by 10 o'clock, which is damn good. But I mean, it's all just because I started real early, about, I think it was like 4.10 or something when I left the hotel. Less than eight hours until dark, maybe 35 miles. By eight would be real nice. About 25 miles into today, made it to the original Washington Monument. Pretty dope. 1827. We built this in honor of George Washington. Pretty fucking cool. Nice view.
Just hitting the marathon mark here. It's a whole vibe doing a marathon and having 20 more miles to do. Bunch of cool Civil War stuff around here. This is like a battlefield where a general died or something. Major General, oh, General Lee. 30 miles in. Means I got about 16 miles left, probably. It's gonna be dark pretty soon here. Lots of solo night hiking tonight. Uh, it's getting dark. Going through some like uh, Civil War historic thing or something, but this is my favorite thing of the park right here. Came in clutch, filled up some water. It's about eight o'clock. Pretty much getting dark already. About to get my headlamp out. But yeah, feeling pretty good still. I mean. Pretty tired and exhausted, about 34 miles in, 33, 34. Have about 10 or 12 miles of night hiking ahead of me. Solo night hiking, been making some pretty good time. Could be feeling a lot worse right now. A set of eyes over here. A little nervous. Look like a cat or something. Moves like a cat. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Hey, buddy. See him up there? Looks like a fucking cat. Or a bear. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. When I saw the eyes under that bridge, it looked like a cat or a bear. So I ended up going up on top of the bridge and I could connect the trail and I missed the turn and, and there ended up being a whole canal. And I just walked way up the road, I had to turn back, connected all this in here and there. Now I'm here at the Quality Inn. It's between like 45 four and 50 miles, I think. Hey, the bottom of my feet feel bruised. Just saw some crazy fucking eyes and just ended up on the wrong side of a canal. I was trapped and then I had to take like an interstate. It wasn't as clean in the end. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and connect the red line right now. With the steps I made and then I think there's a hostel around like 15 miles away. About noon, just checking out of the hotel here. My feet hurt, my legs are real weak. I don't know if I should hike today. No, I think I could do a quick 15 to the hostel, it'd be nice. I could get there by like 7 or 8, it'd be nice. I'm making it back out here to connect some steps in this last night. It's like a couple miles through here. Across the footbridge. Uh, Harper's Ferry Tunnel. A lot of really cool history in this town. There's a lot of tourists that come here and check it all out. So I've been enjoying it all morning. Just going around getting some food and checking out all the, it's like a bunch of Civil War stuff. Okay, so I'm reconnecting the steps right now, walking to this hostel that I'm gonna stay at. And uh, this is the canal, this is just a good representation of what happened last night. So I end up walking up, like up that, up on top of to this thing. And then I cross this bridge. I was right there, literally right there. Cost I'm still gonna take it. I walked 48 miles total. And then I got all four states last night that I walked myself into. And I walked all of Maryland in one day. I'm gonna be heading into uh, Virginia tomorrow. And I got to the hostel here, some laundry, shower. 
camping out out back here for 15 bucks. Just excited to get some good rest, man. I'm tired. 